was a pleasure to meet you. Congratulations Thank on the premiere. So How does it feel to finally be done and at the premiere? It feels so good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so excited to see have everyone see the film. I'm so proud of Rama. So proud of this film and um, you know what it says about um, uh, orphans and and um, uh, Ed Levin's performance is amazing. So I'm very very happy tonight. Awesome. And what was it like working with your spouse? Like how was that experience? It was awful. <laughs> it was really awful. I mean, yeah, you know, I, as a husband, you you know you. You're, you're pretty subservient anyway most of the time and you know and so but then to be to be professionally like under my wife's command was it was too much it was too much yeah yeah I'm glad it's over well, it looked great I saw the Charlie it looked amazing you did a fabulous job thank you you're very welcome what was your favorite memory from working on set like, what was the craziest thing that happened I think it was the Ozark Woods and the cicadas and the amount of wildlife and bugs and hornets and just constantly battling nature out there. It, and the heat. Mm -hmm. Where are you from originally? Um, L.A. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I've heard everyone talk about the ticks mm -hmm. and the heat mm -hmm. and also how beautiful it was, but those are the two things I hear the most about. So yeah. did you get bit up all over? Not too bad. Um, uh, no, but like Rama was constantly putting on like mosquito. She's like a working in a mosquito net. You know what I mean? Like one of those beekeeping costumes. I probably would too, though. Like I'm sure that hurts. I don't want any parts I'm of that. Itchy right now, just. <laughs> so for you, like you encouraged Rama to move forward with this. What was it about this particular project that just made you feel like you know what? I'm going to encourage her. Like she really needs to put this out there. Well, it wasn't. It was just any movie. At the, the, the idea that. You know, as a woman, she made this incredible film called The Brass Teapot. And there were just not opportunities coming her way that I think would, there would have been for a man in, in the same business. And, and I just said, I was listening to her say, you know, oh, I, I, what am I going to do? And I said, well, just make another movie. Make a movie. And so, we, she, you know, I, I knew that she would make whatever she's going to do is going to be great. So, because the brass teapot was great. Now, when she made the brass teapot, I was like, oh my, I was a little nervous because, like, you know, how's this going to turn out? And it turned out so good that I knew she was going to do great. And um, so I just encouraged her to just make a movie, knowing that whatever she chose would be the right thing. And then I pushed toward this one because we could do it in the Ozarks and, um, you know, we could do it, um, you know, on a budget. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. I, I'm happy to, like, for me, like, I want to be like Rama when I grow up, and it's amazing to see like a powerful couple, like a man supporting his wife. So I really appreciate that. I think that's super cool. And congratulations again. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Enjoy the party. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.